I rode to Solomon's Castle today. Man, what an interesting place. You know, for most of us, our home is our castle. But for Howard Solomon, his castle was his home. And was more than that, it was his life's work. Just come with me and I'll show you. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're on the way to Solomon's Castle in Ona. I should tell you a little about Ona. Ona is ranching and farming country. We're far away from any built up area in Florida. In fact, there's no internet or cell coverage out here. So if you're the type of person that likes to check your Facebook account while you're having lunch, uh, you may find it a little less than ideal. It was in 1972 that Howard Solomon moved to this area from the Bahamas, where he had been working as a sculptor and a carpenter. He bought 40 acres of land for $350 an acre. He moved the trailer on the property to live on while he built himself a gallery and a workshop. And that was the beginning of his castle. Howard spent the next seven years building his castle. It turned out to be a 12,000 square foot, three-story residence with turrets and towers. And he also added a restaurant. He called it the Boat in a Moat. It was a boat-shaped restaurant. And he continued working on all of his artwork for all of his life. In fact, he did everything. His daughter, Elaine, who lives there and runs the place since Howard's death in 2016, she says that I always say, I'm quoting her, I always say that my dad made everything in here, including me. Looks like we've arrived. Coming up on the right, you see this little shed. 
And there you can buy tickets if you want to do a tour of the castle. I remember the first time I came here, tour tickets were ten dollars. Now I think they're thirty-five. Sure gone up over the years. One of the first things most visitors note when they arrive at the castle is its gleaming aluminum exterior. Howard built this castle from recycled and repurposed materials. And the exterior is no exception. It's covered in aluminum plates, once owned by the printing press at the Wachulia Herald Advocate. These plates, which still have the news stories on one side, were part of the offset printing process. The castle has 80 colorful stained glass windows. And Howard filled that 12,000 square foot structure with original artwork made from recycled materials. He created sculptures from wood scraps, pieces of oil drums, rebar, chains, motorcycle parts, beer cans, seashells, and other found objects. Then Howard decided to build a restaurant. And he decided that it should be shaped like a boat. Sort of like a Spanish galleon. Well, and that's where we're going for lunch today. As you come inside the restaurant, you'll see all of our Howard's artifacts, but you'll see a seating area where you can sit inside. But it has a fantastic outdoor deck. Large trees. There's Howard's lighthouse. And at the end, there is a gift shop where you can buy all kinds of interesting, unusual items. So, today I'm just going to have a sandwich and uh, then get on my way. Okay, thank you. You guys have a great job. Don't rush off. Stick around and listen. Well, thank you for watching this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, how about a big thumbs up? And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button ring the bell. I'll notify you when I make the next one. So you take care. You have a great day. And remember, keep rubber side down, shiny side up. Bye-bye.